Good Monday morning, everybody. Good Monday morning. You know what? Um, in Texas, y'all, we just had a time change. So it, the clocks fell back. So instead of it being uh, 7 in the morning, it's only 6 in the morning. So guess it was up early. You know, because when you get used to... Um, one particular you know time that's the time frame that you get used to so anyways um i'm still getting up at the same time it's only been one day but you know that makes sense so um let me read something to you i was doing my bible study this morning this monday morning november the 6th so good morning to everyone i want to read something to you now yesterday Y'all hold on, because I'm still in the bed, actually. Actually in the bed. <laughs> I'm trying to get comfortable. Um, if you didn't get a chance to watch my um, uh, sermon note on yesterday, it was about uh, the, the power of Jesus. You know, call on Jesus, and he will be there. Oh, I don't want to tell you, if you didn't get a chance to watch Sunday, November uh, the 5th, uh Sunday sermon notes, go in there and watch those. So today is Monday, November the 6th. Here's a follow-up. Now, once you get your power connection restored, kept on, etc., I want you to listen to these scriptures. I call and you answer me. You are with me. Don't miss this. You are with me in trouble. You will deliver me and honor me. You will satisfy me with long life and show me your salvation. That's Psalms 91, my favorite Psalms, verses 15 and 16. I will bless the Lord and will not forget his benefits. He has forgiven my sins and healed all my diseases. He has redeemed my life from destruction and crown me with loving kindness and tender mercies. God has satisfied me with good things so that my youth is renewed like the eagles. That's Psalms 103, verses 1 through 5. I hope in the word you have spoken to me. It is a comfort in my affliction. Your word has given me life. That's Psalms 119. 49 through 50. I will not perish. I will not perish in my affliction because I delight in your law. I will not forget your precepts for by them you have given me life. Psalms 119 verses 92 through 93. You will restore me and make me live. Isaiah 38 16. Wow. You have given my life to me as a prize in all places wherever I go. And that's Jeremiah 45, verse 5. You have redeemed my life. Lamentations, chapter 3, verse 58. You saw me polluted in my own blood and spoke to me and said, Live. That's Ezekiel 16 and 6. And last but not least, you have set before me the way of life and the way of death. I will follow your way and I shall live. My life will be a prize. Jeremiah 21 verses 8 through 9. Now, what I want to tell you, all of those verses, and I gave you the scripture references so you can look them up, look them up for yourself. There's 10 of them. There's 10 verses. Well, not 10 verses because some of them had two verses with them. Those are, if you go in there and watch um, yesterday, Sunday, uh, sermon notes. When you call on God, call on the power of Jesus, just simply by saying his name. This is what you get. The first one says, I call and you answer me. You are with me in trouble. You will deliver me and honor me. 
You will satisfy me with long life and show me your salvation. The last one says, You have set before me the way of life and the way of death. I will follow your way and I shall live. My life will be a prize. You know what? Once you call on Jesus, no matter if you got yourself into something or if something simply came to you, if you call on Jesus, he's always going to answer. He's always available. And you don't, uh, you know, I have your best friends and your friends and your co-workers and even family members. Let me tell you something. Once you make Jesus the light of your life, Jesus is available 24-7. And like I said before, you could be driving in your car in a grocery store, sleep in the middle of the night, at work in a bathroom, crying in a stall, or at school going through something, bullying or just whatever. You could be wherever. But if you call on Jesus, he's there. He hears you no matter what. It says, I call and you answer me. Whether you brought the trouble or someone sent the trouble, don't miss that. And what I like about these verses, and that's why I like the scripture references, because it lets you know that it's not made up. If it's in that Bible and it has a scripture reference, then that is your blueprint. That is what you can go in there and read. And that's why I gave you the scripture references to these today. Because you can go in there and even memorize them. And say them when you're facing some type of trouble. Once you call on our powerful Lord and Savior. He is going to hear you and he will answer you too. <clears throat> he will redeem your life. <clears throat> and if you notice, every last one of these verses had the word life and live in them. What does that tell you? That God wants you to live. He wants to be your everything. Matter of fact, Isaiah 38, 16 again says, You will restore me and make me live. And let me tell you something I heard uh, a minister say this morning. No, it wasn't a minister. It was a, a TV commercial. But it was about uh, people that have addiction and it said, um, it talked about um, helping people with addictions and getting them through it and getting them out of it. And then at the end it said, so we can get you back to being you. Now what I thought was interesting about that, and I say yes, because if you are, you know, an addict or, you know, have a problem with something, no matter what it may be, there's all types of addictions. Uh, alcohol, drugs, overeating, um, there's so many uh, addictions in the world. You know, anything that you do that's over the limit that, you know, is, is you know, it's a sin or whatever, then those are addictions. <clears throat> you can look up and read about the addictions. Like I said, there's so many of them. But I like the fact that this commercial said, uh, so we can get you back to being you. When you are out there in addictions, when you're out there, and mental illnesses and trouble, going through grief, or even watching your family members going through it, you know, it will temper your mindset, meaning that you aren't your, your same self. Normally, you may be happy, upbeat, enjoying life, but because you may be going through something or a family member or a coworker or a friend, then you temper and that just means that you're not yourself either because they're not themselves and you're worried about them. But I love the fact that commercial said, we're going to get you back to being you. And that's the key. And that's why, once again, I'm going to go back to this one. It says in Isaiah 38, 16, you will restore me. There it is. Get you back to being you. Restore and make me live. But because before you had the afflictions and the things that were going on with you or your family member or friend or whatever, you know, you were living. So you need for God to restore you. All right. Call on that name of Jesus. Like I said, he won't put your business in the street. It won't be all over Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, whatever all these other, you know, apps are out there. Uh, he won't put your business in the street. You can go to him at any time, anywhere. There's nowhere that he will not come to you. That's why I say it doesn't matter where you are. He will come directly to you where you are. And all you got to do is just tell him, 
what's going on with you and he's going to take care of it and he'll restore you and make you live all right i hope you enjoyed this today and uh please watch the sunday sermon note uh from yesterday and then you can put this with it it's like a part two once you have called on that name of jesus the first one says i call and you answer me psalms 91 15 through 16 read them read them every day like i said memorize them write them down you may have to listen to this video or pause it several times to get the uh, scripture notes uh not the scripture notes the uh scripture references and if you would like to let me mark this page if you would like to have this book for yourself i was given this book uh as a gift from uh some people that i met at a job that i was working at um at like a, a dallas convention center type thing uh it was amazing Got took by surprise and met up with some ladies. Didn't even see it coming. I was there to do a temporary job and got took by surprise by the Lord and got blessed them three days I worked there. So one of them sent me this book and it is called Prayers That Bring Healing, Overcome Sickness, Pain, and Disease. God's Healing is for You. And the author is John Eckhart, E-C-K-H-A-R-D-T. Here it is. I'm going to put it up here for a minute in case you want to write it down. I'm trying to peep out and see if you can see all that because I want to get the author. There it is. Okay. All right. And once again, you can write this down. And you can also uh, pause your video or whatever to get it. But it says activate the ultimate power source. There it is again. Power source. Wow. Now that just got me. That just got me because the yesterday sermon notes was about power source. And on the back of here, it says activate the ultimate power source for healing. Total confirmation. Activate the power source. Total confirmation. Now see there, I got up to do my, oh boy, thank you Jesus for today. I got up to do my prayer and worship this morning. I said, you know what? I'm just going to get on here and share, you know, as a, a backdrop from yesterday's sermon notes. And I kid you not, I just flipped to this page. I didn't choose this. I actually had this ink pen in here somewhere else. And then I just took it out and flipped up and somewhere else and started reading the verses. It was like, oh, this is perfect. And now it is no coincidence that I'm live right now. You saw me do it reading this and i happen to flip over on the back of this and see activate the ultimate power source and my yesterday sunday sermon notes was about power source and about jesus total healing for me today that's my confirmation already i had to get quiet on that when that's just something when you see god just show up right as you're doing something like i said i'm recording this right now Early morning, I just said what time it was. And, and I've never flipped over and really read the back of this book. And here we go. Activate Ultimate Power Source. And I did a sermon note on Power Source yesterday. That's for me. Thank you, Lord. I hope you get this book. It's a very rewarding book. It has, um, it's not a very big book. It's only a hundred and... It's 116 pages, and as you can see, it's a little book. I can put my whole hand on it. It's a tiny book, 116 pages, but these pages are full of scripture references for anything that you can imagine that you're going through and you want answers on or help with. And then it gives you some other reading, like before you get the scriptures, then it will tell you, like this one says, and he said to her, daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed. So that's that's going to cover the healing part because it covers uh, healing um, and everything. There's four different things it covers. So it'll give you like a little preface and a scripture. And then it goes into the other scriptures where you can go in there and meditate on them. Well, I tell you what, today God is good, y'all. God is amazing. I hope you go in and look at yesterday's sermon notes from Sunday, November the 5th, 
Today is Monday, November the 6th, early morning. And I hope and pray that you check this out today. Go in there, look at the scriptures, memorize them so you can use them wherever you are. If you're in the house, at work, at school, wherever you are, and you need to quote one of these scriptures and just remind yourself that the power source, the ultimate power source that never cuts off is with you, and that's Jesus. All right, I hope you have a wonderful, blessed day. If you already have a testimony, put that down there. I hope you join the family today. Today, Be blessed and just know that God loves you and you have a wonderful, blessed week. Thank you all again for your support. And God uh, loves you. God really loves you. He loves us. Be blessed. You're going to have a powerful, blessed week. I love you.